Woo! Your boy Charlie Sloth, Apple Music won the rap show. And I'm joined by a real icon, a legend, a pioneer, a strong arm in the game, like one of the most influential monsters from the UK without a shadow of a doubt, man. DJ Septus! <laughs> What's going on, man? How are you, bro? It's good to see you, bro. It's good to see you. I, I normally see you on Instagram shutting down festivals <laughs> and raves. I don't, I don't get to see you too much these days. <laughs> I, I only see you in Dubai, like, <laughs> tearing up parties, yeah. living the life, doing music videos. It's like, it's good to see you, man. It's always good to see you, bro. Always yeah. is. And, and for those that don't know, Semtex played a real pivotal part in me becoming the person I am today. Without a shot of that, and you know I'll never forget that. And I never felt I, 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 can't, I can't take credit for that. Like, you you were always, you, you were going to be, look, you, you did the show Becoming Charlie. It's like, come on. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know, I recognize that. And I was just like to other people, like, no, 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 you gotta pay attention to this guy. What this guy's doing, you know, you know, when I thought, like, what was it? Wasn't when you dissed all the DJs in the video, like, I actually, I like, I, certain mama get upset. I actually made it that I was like, yeah, he's done it, man. Like, congratulations. But it was when, you know, I seen you interviewing J. Cole at the bottom of Hyde Park, yeah, on the corner, like. By the main road, not in the park, outside on the yeah. main road, cars going past and everything. And I saw you put the camera on the floor and you just started interviewing him. And I was like, yo, it takes a lot of guts to do that because I know I, I was doing it myself at the time. It was like at the time I didn't have the team that I have now. At the time, it was like, it was one of them things you got to come through just by any means and put in the work and do that yourself. And I saw you doing, you was, you was the only person I saw doing that. Like, so I was like, yeah, man, however I could get involved, help or whatever, whatever, whatever. And you, you come through like a Spartan, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you as the conduit for that. And that's testament <laughs> to you as a DJ, very selfless, not worried about yourself, but about the culture and about the artists and about the people within it. And that is testament to that. And I always say that. And I think that's, that's why you're still here. There's a lot of people that come from our era Mm. They ain't here no more. And, yeah. and, and and I feel sorry for them. You know what I mean? They've not had the strength, the courage, or the the self-worth yeah. to be as dominant and powerful as you still are today. So I tip my hat every time. Thank you. No way to that. Always tip my hat. Now, bro, we're here today to talk about a brand new EP that you're about to drop with an yeah. artist. You spoke to me about it. You was gassed about it. I know anytime yeah. you speak to me about an artist, I know it's certain. You've never put me onto something that I've been like, mm, yeah. not sure about that, bro. <laughs> I've always been like, no, nah, okay, I I'm listening. And, and you've always delivered. So not only are you a superstar DJ, an author, a voice, a, a person within the industry that makes stuff happen, you're also a producer, my guy. <laughs> Getting it in. <laughs> I, I feel like you got more strings to your bow than me these days. <laughs> so, talk to me about this artist. How did you meet this artist? How, how, how did the journey begin with you and this artist? I big up Nash, boy Nash, boy Nash the Great. The boy Nash the Great. Yeah. And and you know what it was? It, I listened to my listeners, like, and there's a guy called Def Jeff, and I talked to him all the time and DMs and everything, and he was like, yo, you should pay attention to boy Nash. And I was like, all right, check it out. He sent me this joint, the Gotham remix. I started playing it immediately. I rated it, like what's going on. I reached out to Nash, right? And I was yeah. like, yo, just keep sending me music. Like whatever, I like what you're doing. So, and it's, it's music that I want to listen to. Mm. It's music that you've got to decode, the lyricism that he's got and everything else is, there's a lot of depth to it. So because of the pandemic and the lockdown, yo, I just went back into the lab. I just started making beats, making folders and everything else. And I was like, I was like, I wasn't trying to make a hit. I wasn't trying to be like, all right, UK Drill's big, let me jump on that. I wasn't trying to do anything like that. I was just like, let me make some dope shit that I want to listen to, yep. right? Let me make something that I want to listen to. And I was like, you know what? I mean, Nash, let me reach out to him. I reached out to him, got back to me immediately. Day later, he'd already written stuff. He'd already voiced like a couple of the beats. It was already written. We go in the studio, he knew what he was gonna do. It was like, it was, I've never seen someone work that quick. It was one of the quickest things I've ever worked on. Wow. It was like, it was done like, what, four weeks? Yeah, probably, yeah, four weeks, four yeah. weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, when you reached out to me, 
bro, like, come on, it's not everyday same text. I was gonna, like, I was gonna say, what was it like when you you go into your DMs and there's a message from Semtex saying, yo, let's do something? Because that's that's a, that's a bit of a moment there. Bro, it's a moment. It's it's crazy. So like, Sem, yeah, he just called me, hit me up, then we, we exchanged numbers. He called me. But when he hit me up, I didn't expect the I didn't expect the call like straight away. I was just doing something with my brethren. The calls come through and he's gone, yo, like I think you're dope. What you got planned? Do you wanna work on this project? He sent the beats over, and I like I've just gone raw. This is it, boy. I'm, I'm making it with Semtex because it's not it's not every day that DJ Semtex hits you up and goes raw. Let's make it. Let's make tracks together. Mm. So for me, I'm I was gassed. I was I was just like over the moon. I started writing to the beat straight away. We got in the studio and it just it just flowed. And like obviously being A and R and kind of the, the, the expertise of Semtex and the experience and the knowledge of how he structures his music and how he puts it together and tells you what to do. That knowledge that he gave me during this process was priceless. Like he's put me onto something where I feel like even after this project, I'm gonna make some of the biggest records that I've made for myself because he just he just the education was just mad. And that, and that that's you know I just wanted to do projects with someone dope, help bring someone through. I don't I don't even want to be like yeah yeah I'm bringing this guy and da 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 because he was he was doing his thing. He's already coming through, but I know if we tap in and do something, it's a lift, right? Mm. And that that's I've got to do that as a DJ. It's what you do. Yep. It's what we do. It's my duty to do that. So I was like, let's tap in, let's do this. Da 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 da. When we was in the studio, he was doing this track. Cold so great, it's crazy. Like, I didn't even know he could sing like that. And I was like, yeah, more of that. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that, 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 yeah that. more of that. Like, and, and, and it's the realest thing ever. Like what he's saying on the track is the realest, realest talk ever. Like, and it's so relevant to times today. It's, and, and that's it, that's all you can do. All you can do is just, just, just put out greatness that, that talks to the people, that's real, that means something. It's musical substance. So, called the EP So Great. It's the So Great EP. The cover, you know, it's, it's a picture that was taken during the session when we was laying down all the vocals and everything. And it's, that's Nash's hands playing. It's the realest thing because it represents everything. We all aspire for greatness. We all aspire for better days. We all aspire mm. to get through whatever we're getting through. So for me, this is the realest project I could have ever done. This is the realest thing but it's greatness it's great hip-hop the tracks from themselves it wasn't a case of um hey do me an afro swing banger you know it was none of that like <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, you uk just big you know like <laughs> boy, man should, you know what i'm saying i've got this little nah it's none of that and i produced everything myself everything i mixed mm. everything myself there's no you know i've had producers saying to me oh, let me do this and put your name on it no 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 no, no. i ain't doing that i love because that bro. You, you, you got to be able to look people in the eye. So that's like, mine. Yeah, and you're proud of it. Yeah, 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 100%, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. And, it, and it bangs. The bass is bang. Everything. So this this was a very very dope project for me. This is this is this is the vaccine for me. I I like. I, I like that. This is the vaccine. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, bro, you you've been in a room with some of the greatest artists of all time. Yeah. yeah. You you've been in sessions with them. Yeah, yeah. You know you got relationships with them. Both. Present and past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for you to handpick an artist that you want to personally work with, yeah, yeah, yeah. they gotta be special. Yeah. And I, like, my next question is, what are we saying about fire in the booth, bro? <laughs> this would be one of the best fire in the booths ever. Yeah. I can say, yo, I'm looking you in the eye. I'm That's saying a big that. Statement. Bro, I'm gassing you up now, bro. Yeah, I'm gassing yeah. you up. I'm gonna like, deliver, man. I stand, I stand by what he does. Like lyrically, this this guy, what what he does. And what he stands for is different. It's crazy. There is greatness throughout the UK. There's, mm. there's, there's rappers out here, there's singers out here who are doing some incredible things. It's just that they just haven't had that, that lift. They yeah, haven't. Yeah, yeah. A shout out to Def Jeff, man, because Def mm. Jeff, not only is he one of the dopest listeners, he's one of them people who works and does his thing behind the scenes in the game and everything else, but if he never put me onto Nash, we, we never would have connected. Yeah, like he, yeah. and that's what I'm saying. It's a listener that put me onto him. Mm. It's a listener that unlocked all of this. Mm. So you've got a fan of the culture who connected a DJ and an artist. I can't just call him a rapper. He's, he sings as good as he raps. I keep telling him like, bro, yeah. yo, you got a different lane. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> Sing you could, as well, bro. <laughs> you could do the rap thing, but yo, you yeah. might be able to add some packet. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like, he's, he's, he's very, very skilled, very, very talented. So 
I'm, I'm very proud of what we've done. Mm. Um, I think it's incredible. The So Great EP is out September the 10th. Make sure you add that to your libraries, hard drives, whatever, buy it on iTunes, all of that. But more importantly, bear witness to one of the greatest fire in the booths you're ever going to hear. H how many people do fire in the booth in one take? Oh, it's, it's a very rare breed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think we're like 700 plus fire in the booths deep. Really? Yeah, and really? I think out of that, I did count recently, I think we're at 31. Really? Maybe wow. le maybe a little bit less. Really? I think we're at 31. 31 one takes mm. at 700 plus. Whoa. Over how many years? 11. Wow. Crazy. Wow. So well, you said you're going to do it in one take. That's a, that's putting him on the pressure, Sam. You don't, you don't really need that pressure. <laughs> I put money on it. You put, how I much? I put money on it. How I put much? money. Yo, name, name, you name it. 20 grand. What? 20 grand? <laughs> I got that. You got more than that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, not willing to, I'm, not, I'm not willing to risk that. Yeah, if I was using Dubai or something. What, 20 grand? Are you, you're you the only DJ in the world DJing. <laughs> All right, there you go. It's a deal. Yeah. 20 all, all grand. Summer, all summer. All you, yeah. you was in Dubai, like. Yeah, spending yeah. money. <laughs> <laughs> Getting broke out here. <laughs> In Dubai, I move every day, wasting money on stuff I don't need. That don't even fit me no more. <laughs> nah, but, but, but seriously, he, he's dope. Yeah. He's like, he, you know, I can't, you know, come on, bro. When I've ever called you up and said, bro, you should give this guy a fire in the booth, you know? Never. Mm. Never. In, ele in 11 years, I've known this guy for Never. 11 years. Wow. Yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> Never. You've known me longer. 12, 13 years. <laughs> And you've never rang and said that. You, you, you've you always said, oh, are you, have you taken my man in? Mm. Or what do you think of my mm. man? But never like, yo, mm. this is the guy. I'm like, oh, oh say, yeah. Yeah. say okay. no, yeah. say no more. Yeah. So the EP's out Friday, the 10th yeah. of September. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right then, I'll tell you what. Let's record the fire in the booth right now and we'll put it out tomorrow. I'm good with that. Yeah. Good with that. Comfortable. Wait, comfortable, yeah. Bro, comfortable. <laughs> comfortable. I like that a lot. <laughs> Sounds like it makes sense. Yeah. All I ask you, bro, yeah, yeah. is don't do it in one take. I will do it in one take. I'm doing it, I'm doing it in one take, man. <laughs> hey, always good to see you, man. Yeah, yeah, always a pleasure. Nice likewise. to meet you, bro. Love hey, and, and bro, nice studio. It's nice. Hey, it's different to the, yeah, the, the old place. place. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of expensive in there. You see them speakers over there, bro? Yo, I know you yo, know. Yo. You know about them speakers. Yo, yo, yo. That's a house. Oh, this is a club. This is a club. It's a club, man. Seriously. It's wild, like, isn't it? Friday night after tape, get it popping in there, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, this would be the spot. <laughs> you know what I mean? This would be it's the dope, spot. Bro. bro, always good to see you. Likewise. Keep killing them out there, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, love, love, love. Like I said, don't one take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to. Try not to, please. <laughs>